Hey there, I'm Jacob and I'm a senior at Chico State. I'm double majoring in media arts and social science and today I'm going to teach you how to navigate the student center and portal. To find your student center and portal, you can find it by typing in Chico State into Google or simply by typing www.csuchico.edu into your search bar. When you see this homepage, you'll see a series of links at the top right corner, including the portal link. This will be how you access your portal and student center. When you click on the portal link, it'll take you to your portal homepage. This will be important for you to access if you forget your password, your username, or have any difficulties logging into your account. Once you're ready to log into your account, you can click on sign in at the top right corner. It'll then have you enter your username and password. Once you have done so, it'll prompt you to log in with your two-step verification with Duo. There will be a subsequent video that will show you how to sign up for Duo if you haven't done so already. But once you have approved your verification, it'll take you to the homepage of your portal. On the left-hand side, you'll see My Chico State ID, which will show you your student ID number if you ever need to access it or if you ever forget it. On the right-hand side, you'll see Common Student Systems. There will be a series of 10 different applications that the university uses, including your Wildcat Mail, which will be your student email that your professors, fellow classmates, and university communications use to send you important information. It's important that you check this every day so that way you don't miss information from your professors about due dates changing, exams, or any other important information, as well as information from the university. On the right-hand side, you'll see Blackboard, which is the website that professors use to upload assignments to the web. Below the Blackboard link, you'll see the Student Center. Now, this is the important tab and button you'll want to click on in order to view financial aid information, check your to-do or hold items, as well as register for classes. Once you click on the Student Center button, it'll take you to the dashboard of your Student Center. Here, you'll see to-do items, holds, tasks, as well as messages from your inbox. Right now, I don't have any to-do or hold items. However, common to-dos or hold items are incomplete financial agreements, outstanding transcripts from your high school or previous institution, or any other documents that you have not yet submitted to the university. Please be sure to do your to-do and hold items so you are not prevented from registering for classes for the fall. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you'll see a navigation menu with a lot of different important links. We'll start first with the enrollment link. When you click on this menu, it'll pop down with a series of very important links, including enrolling classes. In order to enroll in classes and search for classes, you want to be on this class schedule tab. You'll see a menu with the term in question, which in this case will be fall 2021, the subject, and I'm going to search a kinesiology class. I found it down here in alphabetical order, and I also saw that its course abbreviation is K-I-N-E. Before I search for classes, I want to make sure that I hit show open classes only. This will prevent me from seeing waitlist classes or classes that are closed for some reason. I can then hit search and find the class that I'm interested in taking. Once it populates, you can be able to scroll down and look for the classes that you're interested in enrolling in for the next semester. I found a class that I'm interested in taking. In this case, it's Yoga or Kinesiology 169. In the class menu, it'll show me a bunch of information regarding the class that'll be helpful for me when I enroll in classes. I can see the section is section one. It meets on Monday and Wednesday. It starts and ends from eight to 8.50. It also tells me that the room it's located. In this case, the class is located in Acker Gym 202. If it's an online class, it'll simply say online. Next, it'll show me the dates. The dates of the term are from August 23rd to December 17th. It then shows me the instructor, 
Carly Ross. Next, it'll show me units and classes vary in units from one to six units. So it's important to pay attention to how many units the classes work. Then you can check the status or availability of the class. If you see a green box with a white O, you'll know that the class is open. Next to that, it'll tell you how many available seats are left in the class. In this case, there are 12. And the 35 just indicates that there are 35 seats in the class total. One of the most important components to this information is the instruction mode. The instruction mode tells you whether or not the class is virtual, in-person, hybrid, as well as if the class is asynchronous or a synchronous class. If it's a synchronous class, it means that it meets at a specific time. If it's asynchronous, it means that it doesn't meet at any specific time during the week and that you do some form of independent study. In this case, it says that the class is in person with internet use. It also tells me that the class is in person here, but I also need to be able to access the internet. If I click on this arrow, it'll expand the class and provide me with further information. I can also see where the location of the class is by clicking this button. I'm interested in taking this class, so I can either add it to cart or enroll from here, or I can also click on the additional actions button and do so from this drop down menu. Let's go ahead and add to cart. The difference between adding to cart and enrolling directly is adding to cart allows you to create a list of classes that you are interested in signing up for, whereas enroll means that you'll enroll right from this menu. If you decide to enroll or add to your shopping cart, you wanna make sure that you have waitlist of classes full check marked. Then you can hit save. Next, you can verify that you have added the class to your shopping cart by seeing the shopping cart emblem pop up right next to the section number. Next, we can click on the shopping cart button and it'll show us the class that we just added to our shopping cart. You want to make sure that if you are trying to enroll in the class from your shopping cart that you have clicked this box right here and you can click enroll right here. If you no longer want to take the class, you can always delete it as well after you've checkmarked it. But let's enroll in the class and see if we can add it to our schedule. Once you try to enroll in a class, it'll send you a reminder that in order to graduate within four years, you should be completing about 15 units per semester. You can hit I agree and then enroll. It'll then inform you of whether or not you were able to add the class to your schedule. In this case, I was successful in adding the class to my schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And from here, I'd like to click on my schedule. It'll first show me a list view of all the classes that I am enrolled in for this upcoming semester. And if you wanna look at subsequent or future semesters, you can always use this drop down menu here. Or you can always use the calendar view by clicking on this calendar button located here. It'll provide you with a organized way of looking at all of the classes you're taking for the semester. I often take a picture of this or a screenshot of some sort so that way I can keep it clear in my head. If you see a class located in other, this just simply means that there's a component of that class or the class is entirely asynchronous. This just means that you complete the class at your own pace, indicated by the syllabus that your instructor has provided. Say I no longer want to take one of the classes that I enrolled in, I can click on it, the enrollment menu and click drop classes. If I realize, hey, maybe this time does not work for me anymore, what I can do is click on this box right here and click on the button which reads drop. It'll ask me if I want to drop this class. In this case, I do. So I'll click on the button that says draw. It'll then inform me that I have successfully dropped the class from my schedule. I can just hit OK and it'll refresh automatically. Again, if you want to check your schedule, you just hit my schedule and you can verify that the class has been dropped. 
This navigation has a bunch of other important information, including academic progress. This is where you can find information about your advisor, your degree progress, which will tell you whether or not you've satisfied requirements or not, check grades from previous semesters. If you're a transfer, you can verify that your transfer credit report is accurate, and you can also apply for graduation here, obviously later on in your academic career. Your student records will also give you a lot of important information, including your official and unofficial transcripts. If you're a veteran, it'll show you your veterans benefits, as well as financial aid information from the financials menu. It'll inform you if you have any charges to your account, It'll allow you to enroll in a payment plan. It'll show you your 1098T when it comes to tax season. You can view your financial aid for the semester or any previous semesters, as well as accept and decline awards. It's important that if you are receiving financial aid, that you accept the awards under this menu here. Lastly, it's important to check the to-dos, tasks, and holds folder if there's more information that you need to complete in order to register for classes. Thank you so much for watching. We're so excited to welcome you to campus in the fall and be sure to check out our YouTube page for more tutorials.